mic comes flying off the, was it you? Yeah. And then somebody else must have been with him because somebody did the video. You did the video? Yeah. Yeah, come flying off this eight foot ledge and just laid in heat on the ground somehow. And it didn't get hurt. So, TJ, where'd TJ go? What were you guys doing when he went? <laughs> you were over on High Street. And he, this was like a couple months before he died. And he went, he hit something, went flying across the whole street, rolling down the hill. Stop. You don't remember? Well, the other thing that I wanted to do was I just wanted to share with you guys the, um, shortly after Mike died, I began taking a, a Bible study class that was very helpful to me, and one of the passages that really touched me and that I've really hung on to um, all this time has been uh, Psalm 121, and I just want to read that. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over you, your coming and going, both now and forevermore. And I just wanted to share, too, with you guys that um, I don't know, you know, how, how all of you are doing. I don't know where you're at in this process. Um, sometimes I don't hear really good things about what some of the kids in Ionia are up to. And I, I just encourage you to let that pain, whether it's pain from losing a good friend or pain from maybe something that you're going through at home, you feel like your parents don't understand you constantly on your case. Um, Maybe you're going through situations somewhere else, but we all have pain. Pain is given to us to draw from, okay? And when we draw from that pain and embrace that pain, we, we become writers, we become painters, we become musicians and singers and, and poets and people that can connect with other people on levels that it's hard to connect with. And those are the things that I, I just encourage you guys to do and to seek the Lord because any strength that I have, the fact that I am can be up here in front of you, the fact that um, you guys can come by my house and, and I can greet you and you're not coming to see me in a mental ward somewhere, that is all because of Jesus Christ, okay? And he will do that, not just for me, but for you. No matter what you're going through, he is bigger than anything you could possibly be dealing with. Okay? Death, sexual abuse, physical abuse, verbal abuse, um, you just having a, a rough life. He is the only answer. He made you, formed you in your mother's womb, and he is the one that knows how you're made, understands all about you, has wired you the way you are, and he is the, the only one that can truly get down in there and heal you.
okay, but it's got to be your choice. And so I just encourage you that you get in those moments of sorrow over whatever you're dealing with in your life, that, you know, you're alone. You just call out to God because he's only a call away. You don't have to pick up a phone. You don't have to go to the next room. You don't even have to be alone. If you're sitting there watching TV and your whole family's around and you just feel overwhelmed by something, all you got to do is cry out to Jesus in your head. And he will be there. Okay? And he will make himself so real to you that it will blow your mind. Okay? Um, that's really all I have to share. I do want to pray real quick because um, it, probably most of you know that Kristen and Elizabeth have been in a, um, was it a quad accident. Um, physically, everything has checked out okay and they seem to be doing pretty good. Um, I know Pam called me this morning, their mom, and she was quite upset, of course, especially, you know, this weekend, something like that happening. So, um, can we all just bow our heads and I'll pray over that situation and pray for all of you here and, and then you're free to do whatever you want, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I just come before you now, Lord, and I lift every child here up, every young adult, every adult. I just thank you, God, that you have formed each of these people, that you have brought them into this time because you ordained this time for them. They are here because you purposed them to be here for this time. I pray that you would just fill each heart with a fire, Lord, from you that cannot be quenched. That you will fill each mouth with a voice, Lord, of honor and integrity that will be a voice for you and no one can quiet it. I just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in each life here, and I just lift up Elizabeth and Kristen, Lord, and I pray that you would just touch their bodies and heal them, give them peaceful sleep tonight, uh, heal them in a way, Lord, that that you will just be glorified. I pray that you will be with Pam and her um, husband, Lord, uh, parents of Kristen and Elizabeth. I just pray that you will touch them in a special way and give them peace and uh, let them not be fearful for what could happen again. And I just thank you, Lord, for all these hearts that have remembered Michael with, um, with us today. And thank you for them, Lord. And I just thank you for this youth and this uh, generation that you're rising up. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much. This is um, quite a few more people than I really expected to be here. And um, Genghis was out of town, out of state actually, and uh, Trinity had youth group tonight, so you got me instead. And um, I, it really means a lot to me that so many of you came, and um, thank you. If you have any memories you want to share, though, please call.